a former foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign, George Papadopoulos, secretly pleaded guilty as part of Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller's probe into Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Papadopoulos had suggested that Donald Trump meet with top Russian leaders during the campaign. He pleaded guilty to making false statements during an interview with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. He is the third advisor to President Donald Trump's campaign to face criminal charges as part of the special counsel's investigation. Papadopoulos is an international energy lawyer who was on Trump's advisory team during the 2016 presidential campaign. The Chicago man pleaded guilty on October 5 in a case unsealed on Today, the Office of Special Counsel Robert Mueller said in a statement. The court document said Papadopoulos made false statements to the Federal Bureau of Investigation shortly after Trump's inauguration on January 20, when the law enforcement agency had an open investigation into Russian government efforts to interfere in the 2016 U.S. presidential campaign. The special counsel said Papadopoulos told FBI agents he had been in contact with an unnamed foreign professor who claimed to have dirt on Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton in the form of thousands of emails, and that Papadopoulos claimed such contacts occurred before he joined Trump's campaign. However, the prosecutor said Papadopoulos in fact did not meet the professor until after he joined Trump's campaign. Earlier today Trump's former campaign manager Paul Manafort surrendered himself after he was indicted on 12 charges including conspiracy against the U.S. and money laundering. Donald Trump responded on Twitter saying, Sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign. But why aren't crooked Hillary and the Dems the focus? He continued. Also, there is no collusion. According to the BBC's Laura Bicker the indictment or charge sheet, which stretched to 31 pages, has no mention of either men's work for Trump. Manafort, who is a lawyer and lobbyist, joined Trump's campaign team in March 2016, and was elevated to the role of campaign manager from June to August 2016. He resigned amidst a scandal about his work for pro-Russian Ukrainian oligarchs. It was reported he had received more than $12 million, and pound, 9 million in undisclosed payments from Viktor F. Yanukovych, the former Ukrainian president and a pro-Russia politician. Gates is described by the Times as a former protege of Manafort. In the summer FBI agents raided Manafort's home and prosecutors warned him that they planned to indict him. That warning raised speculation that Mr. Manafort might try to cut a deal to avoid prosecution, according to the New York Times. The Russia investigation has cast a shadow over U.S. President Donald Trump's nine-month-old presidency and widened the partisan rift between Republicans and Democrats. The indictments by a federal grand jury marks the start of a new phase in the special counsel's investigation into Russian attempts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. Special counsel Robert Mueller has interviewed some of the president's top aides including former White House Chief of Staff Rians Priebus and ex-White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer. President Donald Trump has repeatedly dismissed Mueller's investigation as a Russian witch hunt and a hoax cooked up by Democrats unwilling to accept the 2016 election's results. Cyclist gives Donald Trump middle finger as U.S. President's motorcade overtakes her after leaving his swanky golf club.